Hey crafty babes, Andrea here, and welcome to my space. I have a small space, but it's really super organized for how I use it. So I'd like to take you on a little tour um, so that maybe you can get some ideas how to handle your small space. Um, just to give you a little background, my space is in the main area of the house. So I have uh, a view of the backyard. I have uh, my family room and my kitchen behind me. So I can see down the hall. I can see the door. I can see everywhere. And for me, that's what I love. I love being out here in the open. And thankfully, I have a very understanding family who knows that this is where I like to be and they don't mind all of my stuff hanging around. So I try to keep it clean and organized. So come on, I'll show you around. The first part I'd like to show you is just my desktop. So this is kind of everything that I need at an arm's reach because for me, if it's not within arm's length, then it will either not get used, it'll get forgotten about or um, I just, yeah, it doesn't get used. So um, the most important things to me, I usually keep where I can reach them. So um, one of the most important things is my paper trimmer. So this stays over here on the right of this little cube. This is from Ikea. Um, and that way it's not taking up my desk space, but it's easy for me to get to and um, doesn't get in the way of everything else. The work in progress here in this lovely tray, uh, this is a serving tray from Walmart, um, but I have, a lot of things that I don't have put away. So I have um, some Project Life cards and some 12 by 12 sheets that need to get cut down and a lot of embellishments. Um, being on a couple of design teams means I get a lot of product and then I honestly can't use it all. So this is uh, stuff that needs to be put away and um, that's a work in progress. I'll get to it. Um, the next things that I, I always have with me are my garbage can, which is a the top, the lid to um, DVD case. So I've used that for years and it's easy um, to see when it gets full and I just dump it. I have my speaker and um, this is where I keep my water, my tea or whatever I'm drinking. And then I usually like to keep the rest of my space pretty clean. Um, other than I have a pile of pictures here for the week that I'm working on for my Project Life album. And then plenty of space. I have my planner out, but um, you know, I work on so many different things here. Um, one of the really cool things that I picked up after I um, started getting a lot of product from being on the Gossamer Blue design team is this four drawer cabinet. So I get four kits from Gossamer Blue every single month. So I needed to be able to separate them so that when I was working on projects, I knew what things came from which kit. So um, I just label them for whatever kits I get. And normally I'll take, I won't use the, um, the labels from the actual kits that she sends us. I'll usually put a little label that I'll handwrite, but um, I was in a rush to get these in here and get some projects made. So. That's what I worked on, but this is just every single kit gets their own drawer. And then when I'm finished with stuff, I just throw it back in the drawer that it belongs in and I can keep everything super tidy. And then when the next kits arrive, I just pull these out and organize them. Hopefully they get put away, but as you can see, sometimes they don't get put away right away. Um, so yeah, that's, that's an easy organization for me and this I purchased at Michael's. So if you're interested, you probably still find it there. Um, this is a refrigerator organizer. So I found this at Target in the, um, I think it was the kitchen. Yeah, it's the kitchen section, kitchen and bathroom. Yeah, it was kitchen. Um, so here there's a lot of supplies that I get that are full of color. And so we'll get to my, the way that I organize my embellishments here in just a sec. But so some of them are multicolored, which makes it difficult for me to put them away into the color drawer that they should belong in. So sometimes I just keep them in the collection that they came in. So like this is a pink paisley ephemera pack. And so I'm just keeping it together and I'm just using Ziploc bags. So it's not the most attractive, but 
that's what I have to work with. So, and sometimes I keep things in bigger bags. Like this is some stuff I just purchased from LE Studio. So that's all gonna stay together until I have a chance to use it. And then once it becomes kind of used and I've kind of had my, got my use out of it, I, I guess, um, then I would maybe transfer it over to uh, my card case. And also behind here is where I keep some larger photos. So when I'm working through my Project Life weekly photos, um, sometimes I'll print larger photos and then I'll just store them in here and then on my weekly sheet, I'll just make sure that I write that there's a bigger photo and what, what it's of so that I know to include it when I'm ready to do that week. And then I have two old Studio Calico Project Life kit boxes and one's for um, selfies because I do a personal album as well as um, a weekly Project Life album. So I have my photos separated in here and that way I can just, if I know what project I wanna work on, I'll just grab some photos from the box. And then on top of the shelf is also just a couple of different projects that I'm working on. So one of them is the a lists, my lists album that's kind of just ongoing and then my personal album that I'm currently working on. So I like to keep all of my stamps together um, because obviously when I want to look for something to stamp, I want them all to be easy to get to. So this comes from Target. This is a bathroom drawer organizer and I love that it's clear so that I can always see what's in it. So I keep some larger four by six stamps in the back and then three by four stamps toward the front. And then there's a smaller, thinner, narrower section in the, on the side. So I store some more narrow stamps, some of the itty bitties, um, and some of the two by twos. And then up front, if I can get this sucker back in here, up front, I keep my date stamps. So, um, I've got the Ellie Edwards date stamp, but that's a, it's a time stamp, which is really awesome. And it just went back on sale. So, um, and then just some others that I've run into. Um, that just, they have different sentiments on them or um, different date formats. So those are always really nice to have. And I have that sitting on another organization shelf thingy from Target. Um, and that way I can keep stuff underneath and make the most of my space. So I have this smaller narrow drawer organizer and it keeps all of my acrylic blocks as well as glue sticks. And it just, they don't necessarily go together, but it's basically just because they fit. Um, and then I can have easy access to them underneath. And then I have my awesome camera um, post-it note dispenser that everybody was so excited about from Target. Um, I'm super happy to have one at work and at home. Um, another cool thing that I've started using is this baby wipe dispenser so like we buy the wipes from sam so we get them in the big box and then it always comes with one of these travel pouches so i keep um baby wipes in here so that when i'm stamping then i can just pull up a bunch like this and i can have you know some sitting here and then when i do some do my stamping then i just wipe it off like this and then i just quickly dry it on this little chamois so I bought a chamois from the um, car wash section at Walmart and then I just cut some pieces out to keep them on my desk. And then I just have a scrap piece of paper here for test stamps and test pen marks and stuff. We're gonna continue talking about the tools and then we'll get to all the fun stuff. So on this wooden step shelf, this is actually a spice rack that was um, a wooden color and I painted it white. So this holds a couple of little uh, organizers it's got some white out a pencil sharpener some chapstick my erasers a nail file because you never know um, and my uh, foam tape and then I have oh and yes and a transformer um, from my childhood so he sits back there and hangs out where is he there he is um, I also have this planter uh, this was a f 58 cents at Target in the garden section and it holds all of my pens and most frequently used tools like my X-Acto knife, my ruler, some pinchers, my scissors, some glue pens, stuff like that. And then I have a little organizer here that is just, just holds white cardstock, basically little scraps of white cardstock so that I can um, do test things on or run them through Blanche so that I can just type 
like little word sentiments and then um, tear them off or cut them into little strips. So um, I just like to hang on to little white pieces of cardstock. And then I have two Ikea shelves. They're really narrow. They're not deep at all, but they've got this little lip on them. So um, this one holds my different stamps. So I have my Studio Calico stamps and then my Illustrated Face stamps and some Heidi Swap stamps, as well as some of the uh, Dew Drop colors from Memento. And then just a couple of stamp sets, the a number set, an alphabet stamp that I found at, I think, Target and or Michael's. And then just a couple of wooden stamps. I don't have, a, those are my only sets of wooden stamps, so that's why they stay together. And then I have another one of the planters that holds colored markers. So those have Sharpies and Zig markers and fine liners and just different colored um, markers. And then washi tape. So there are some washies up here that are missing because I have them in another section um, because I'm working on my Revival Camp, Illustrated Faith Camp. So I have some colors in a, in a different place. Um, but they're all color coordinated so that I always know where um, where they are if I'm looking for a certain color. So I keep all of my embellishments once they make it from my kits. Uh, hopefully they get put away. And when they do, this is where they go. So I have, these are some plastic stackable drawers. So there are four of them. I purchased these at Walmart. And each of them is their own separate color. So I have black, gray, white, and then brown and gold, and then two different drawers for wood veneer, just because they, I don't know why I collect so much wood veneer. And then pink, red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. So I clean these out fairly often, um, do giveaways or just purge, um, because they fill up really fast. They're not very big, um, but they hold all the little stuff. And then I only have one box of Project Life cards. Uh, this is a tray from the Project Life core kit. And so I just have some tabs for all of the different categories and sections. And some of these aren't, these are just really random. I don't have um, a section for them anymore or yet. So um, it changes and ebbs and flows a lot just based on the product that I have. So at this time I have um, the, the items that I have left from my core kits, which I have purged extensively. And then I have some of the four by sixes left over still. And then I have categories for color as well as I have category for like journal cards and days of the week cards. And then I did have one for just words, I think, but this actually fell down here. Um, and so I, I may not have put them all back together properly, but um, underneath that, which actually, so this sits on a, another one of these racks. Um, they came in a three pack, I think of different sizes, maybe a two pack, I forget. But underneath that, I have my planner bin. So this is everything I need to, um, you know, these are my basic planning supplies. So I have stamps and little embellishments and a lot of labels and um, some reminder cards and then a lot of these like planner stickers and little tiny things that fit well in your planner. And then the bin in the way back houses photos that I did not include in my Project Life album. So these end up going into a box for each year that gets labeled. And then I use them for mini albums or grandparent gifts or, you know, giving to grandparents or um, school projects that require photos. Um, so I keep those there so that when I don't use a f any of the photos for my weekly spread, I just toss them in there and call it good. My pegboard is a fairly new addition to my space. I was finding that there was too much bulkiness happening on my desktop and things that I couldn't really get to very easily. So I added a pegboard and it's mainly for bulkier tools and things that I don't use as often, but because I'm a visual person, if I have them out, then I have a tendency to use them more. So um, my fuse tool, I have no excuse. I I just don't use it as much as I thought I would. Um, but it's there so that I know I can get to it easily. And then a couple of things 
three things that I use fairly frequently, but I enjoy having them up here because they are pretty bulky, are my hole punch, which I use a lot for my planner pages, um, my tiny attacher, and my Studio Calico Mega Date stamp. So I use those a lot, but I can't imagine keeping those things on my desk all the time. So they're there in the open where I can always get to them. And then I have some twines and ribbons, which get used fairly frequently, but I like having them out so that I can see what colors I have. And then I have a little shelf here that's designed for a pegboard that houses some of my extra Illustrated Faith things. So um, being on the design team, we got quite a bit of supplies and I could only fit so much in you know, my everyday cart, which I'll end up showing you as well. So I just have some extra cute clips up here as well as some extra um, blessings by mail, which I'm trying harder to use those because they're super cute and I know that a lot of people would, um, you know, be blessed by having one of those sent to them. So that's my goal. Um, and then the other thing I've done is the washi tape, I wanted to make sure I knew what the names of them were when we do our blog posts. Um, you know, we need to list all the things that we're using. So what I did was I took the topper off of all of them and then I just attached them to a paper clip and hung, on them, hung them here so that I would know what the names of them were. And that's um, some of my extra stuff that sits on my pegboard. Okay, my silhouette is a tool I use a lot. I use it for mostly printables. I don't do a lot of cut files, but um, I love make, doing hybrid and um, this is a perfect tool for that. So I keep it nice and covered even though it still gets dusty. Um, but I have it on top of this paper filer and then it's turned sideways. So I bought this at Target in the office supply section. It's just a mesh metal a paper bin. I have it flipped over to its side and I have all of my patterned paper and white cardstock and paper pads. So because I don't use 12 by 12 paper um, a whole lot other than to cut up to make into Project Life cards, I keep them kind of out of the way and then it also allowed me to have um, a place for my silhouette. So when I'm ready to use it, I can just pull it out a little bit so there's room in the back and then I have all of my um, cutting mats hanging right there. And then I kind of have taken the counter as just a little extension of my scrap area so that I can just put my computer here and be able to plug it in nice and easy. And then um, I can just put it away and it stays nice and tidy and out of the way, but easy to use. So I have a knockoff Rascog cart that I purchased at Sam's for half the price. Um, I actually picked up a second one and I use it for sewing, which is awesome. Um, but this one is basically used for my Illustrated Faith stuff because there's, there's a lot of stuff and I kind of had to keep it all together. So this ended up being perfect. And in here I have another one of these plastic drawer organizers and I keep all of the stamps here in one section and then I have washi tape in another section and I also keep my monthly devotional kits back here and then all of the little things that come in the um, in the devotionals like all the cutouts and stuff I keep them inside of the little bag that comes with it so that way I know that it all stays together um, I also have my homes, Homespun Alpha stamp, which is way too big to fit with the other stamps. My praise book, and then all of the digital um, stuff from the print and pray shop that I haven't had a chance to either use or cut out yet. And then, so when there's also um, a larger collection like this, I'll usually keep it in a bag. And then I have my Bible mats back here so that everything's accessible, and then for the smaller embellishments, I have them in a little, you can't really see it, but it's a mesh metal um, mail tray or like a bill pane, kind of like tiered divider so that I can kind of keep them separate. So I've got the stickers and the home, homespun alphas and the numbers. And then behind here, I have stuff from the Genesis kit, which is a bunch of alpha stickers and um, other stickers from that set. I have a small mason jar here that has um, cute clips and fabric clips that I've made. And then all of the die cuts and items that um, came from the print and pray shop or any of the digital supplies I've made a, a label for and keep them in this bag. And with the 
the items that came from um, Bella Boulevard and Illustrated Faith, I keep the backing so that I have a, a visual of everything that's inside. And then I just keep them all here together so I know how to get to them. And then the bottom section is mainly for painting. So I have my Bible down here as well as some watercolors and acrylic paints from Illustrated Faith and just some other acrylic supplies and some colored pencils and things that I would use more for art supplies, um, not necessarily just scrapbooking or Bible journaling. And since everybody has to have a junk drawer, um, mine is the bottom shelf of my cart. Um, nobody wants to see down there. It's just a kind of piles of different things. I have this organizer here that's got some drawers in it. It actually is from Ikea and came with three drawers and it actually also came in black, but I spray painted it white. And on top I have a cutting board that I can use for when I have to do some X-Acto knife magic. Um, but the main part that I use this for is my punches. So when I'm sitting at my desk, I can just easily open this, grab a punch and put it back. They're just so bulky that it's really difficult to keep them anywhere else. Um, the bottom drawer, I keep wax paper for letters and then a lot of different size bags. So I use the bags for different accessories, for photos, um, and just for overall kind of keeping things together. So that is my uh, little organizer there. And then I have several binders that I keep lots of different things in. So we'll go one by one. So I have extra page protectors here. Um, I found these 12 by 12 binders at Target many, many years ago. They do not make them anymore. I wish that they did, but thankfully I grabbed three when they were available. And I keep, um, I keep 12 by 12 embellishment pages in here. And then I have two for um, pocket pages. I have a 12 by 12 album here that I keep all of my thickers in. And then a couple of eight and a half by 11 binders, one for just regular size page protectors. And then another for monthly um, miscellaneous things like receipts or things from the boys school or something that needs to go in each month. And I'll show you those. And then I have a small six by eight binder here that keeps all of my six by eight page protectors as well. So to store all of my alphas and thickers, I'm using a Becky Higgins Project Life album and I'm using 12 by 12 pockets and well page protectors and I've sewn them down the center. So then I can easily slip in thickers or larger alpha sets back to back and they're neat and tucked away and easy to use. Another binder that I use for organization is just a plain white binder. You can use anything. Uh, this is just what I had on hand. And I have these tab dividers and I have one for every month. And what I put in here are different things that I might want to include in my albums, like award certificates from school or thank you notes from people or receipts, report cards, um, gift, car gift cards, greeting cards, anything for that month. And then I pull this month out and I use it in my Project Life binder. So I also have this small four x four Calyx cube from Ikea that I keep to my right. Half of it is stuff that I rarely use and the other half is stuff that I'm using a little bit more frequently. So on the top right in front of me is uh, basically my current project. So I'm keeping there my revival camp stuff. I have my notebook and some pens and um, a little tray of supplies that I'm using frequently for that project. Underneath that I keep a uh, clear plastic bin and that basically holds all of my taller stickers, taller uh, embellishments that I have not cut up yet like um, word stickers or doilies or um, just things that would not fit in my color organization um, section of my desk. And then on the other side that you would only see from like the front of my area I guess are just some some binders. So I keep just different binders for different things, but mainly it is some of my uh, completed 
personal albums, the six by eight albums. And then underneath that are some sewing projects that I have yet to get to. So I keep staring at them and they're supposed to be curtains and supposed to be an ottoman cover and um, an embroidery piece that hasn't been finished to, ha to hang up yet. But um, if I keep it out, maybe I'll eventually one day get to it. So that is my side cube. The last part of my space I'm going to show you is a bit of an extension of my space. So we have a non-working fireplace, so I decided to get another one of the Kellex cubes and uh, place it in front of the fireplace so that I had some extra space for my albums, which I'm doing anywhere between two and three albums per year. So they kind of add up quickly and you know I needed space for Blanche and my turntable and all of my records. So I wanted to have a little extra space for some vintage things and stuff I collect. Um, and I wish that we could just sit here and look at albums and listen to Eric Clapton on the turntable, but this is as close as we're gonna get. So I hope that you have enjoyed my space and we will talk really soon. Bye guys. Bye.